page there, page 97. <clears throat> Everybody for joining us. here before, wasn't he? Yeah. Huh? I thought he was. Hey, Anthony, how you doing? <laughs> it's good to see you. All right. We usually read emails, but we don't have many emails tonight, so I'm going to read some of these letters that we get from the people around the country who are on the Internet 24 hours a day around the world. Wherever they have internet, down in Southeast Asia and Malaysia and, and in Europe and Germany and France and Spain and down in South America and all over Africa, we've got people that write to us. We've got a dear lady here in Nashville, <clears throat> and her name is Antonio Holmes. She is a, a, a daycare sitter for a lady and uh, she doesn't have time to come very often because she has to be there 24 hours a day but she writes from time to time and sends her tithe and tony says hi pastor jim and mary love to all am okay miss you tony we love you tony she is a real sweetheart i love her and then we got a a letter from uh from well, I don't know who this is for. Oh, Teresa Jackson down in Florida. Good day, family. How's everything? Thank God for another day, and I'm so grateful 
for the word of God. Although I am alone and agonize a lot, God is so merciful and awesome. And I thank you for your word and hope this short letter finds you and wife and church family doing well. Take care. Love you all. Teresa Jackson down in Florida. And then we got a letter here. I got a lot of letters. I very seldom have a time to read them. I want to read some this evening. This is from Judith Thomas. This is Susan's mother uh, up in Ohio. It's Marcy's mother. Huh? It's Marcy's mother. Who? Marcy. Oh, Marcy's mother. Wasn't there, isn't Susan's mother up there? I don't know. Huh? Yes, she's up there. Well, I get confused on them. Jim and Believing Church, letting you know, I continue to enjoy the DVDs you send out. Thankful over the years for the truth preached in God's Word. And this is love, First John 6. Judith B. Thomas, Lancaster, Ohio. And uh, we love you, Judith. And then we got a... a a, a letter from Alvaro Aguello Aguello in St. Cloud, Florida and he writes he's a little ways from us Pastor Jim, Mary and Grace and Truth family greetings to each one of you and Grace at Grace and Truth family I thank you for keeping sending me DVDs which contains so something so much wisdom and instruction sorry I did not write to you for more than a month and because some disagreement that I had with my wife about Christmas Easter God's sovereignty God chooses to love and hate others etc Every day I learn more and more how the truth separates the believer from the unbelievers. Thanks to you. About hurricane, one of the hurricanes, we are okay. Our house did not scatter or suffer any damage, only trees and branches down. Thank you for asking blessing to you all and pastor jim keep up your good work we are called and predestined to be hated by the world agape cosmos and so forth <laughs> uh, we love you keep listening keep watching and then i got a letter here from uh, rose jackson roses in lenexa kansas that's a good way the other way Probably 500 miles, I imagine, northwest. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, Jim and Mary. I was enlightened by your message on sheep and goats. I have a better understanding. One thing I'd like for you to make clearer is that is Ephesians 2, 3b. And we're by nature the children of wrath. What well, is our nature to be filled with orge. The orge was the, that word wrath there in Ephesians 2 and 2 is the word orge. It's feminine gender, and it's feminine because it's the wrath of Babylon, the mother, which is feminine, of harlots, which was founded on self. Let us make us a name. Even as others, if we're sheep, and I believe we are, but lost sheep before God quickens us, how are we children of wrath too? Because we get involved in getting angry until we grow older and learn to come out of it. Uh, straighten me out. Encloses my monthly tithe, money order for, from Ruth Fletcher, my niece, to be used on hurricane victims or the needy. Continue to be strong, and the Lord and the power of his might Faithful is he that called you and who will do it. Agape Rose Jackson, Lenexa, Kansas. Come on back and see us, Rose. She came down to the picnic a couple of years ago. And then I got a, <clears throat> a letter from Nick 
De Stefano in Tucson, Arizona. That's about probably 1,500 to 2,000 miles from here. And it's like in another country. But Nick writes, Hello, Jim. Dear Jim and Mary, Hello, Jim. Jim, you look good when you're wearing a black shirt. Chuck Norris said, Good guys wear black. Okay. Thank you, elect family, for everything. It's good to know I have a family. Agape and Phileo, Nick DiStefano, Tucson, Arizona. Jim, I don't recognize the books that Edersheim is referring to. Besides, Josephus, could you speak on his reference material? Mr. Edersheim's got a book called Life and Times of Jesus the Messiah. He's got a book called The Temple its ministry and services. That's about the rituals of the temple and the Pharisees. And then he's got a book called Sketches of the Jewish Social Life. That is about everyday life in Israel. And he'll tell you all about it, uh, how they lived, how they built houses, how they looked after sheep, and a very good book. Then he's got one called The History of Israel. Very interesting comments he makes through that. So if you want to order those, you can order them through uh, Christian Book Distributors in Peabody, Massachusetts. An excellent place to get his books. All right. Now, I got a letter from Elizabeth Taylor. This is a lady in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, she writes, Hi, Mom. I finally got moved. Now I am sick with a stomach flu. I have a nicer house. We are tired out again and are behind in my studies. Mrs. Parker, our captain, called us to help to pack material to take to Texas. She moved to Texas? No, she helped with the flooding. Huh? Oh, okay. I was sick. We boxed up things to go on an 18-wheeler going to Texas to help those people. Weather is cold. Now, address, new address is, and that's in Dayton, Ohio. Love, Elizabeth Taylor. We love you, Elizabeth. She's a really sweet lady. Has has a real difficult time with sickness with her daughter and and so forth. That'll be enough reading. Uh, we Let me give you the announcements. We are we're on the uh, internet teaching every night in Nashville on channel 49 and in fact, you'll be able to watch us when you get out of church if you've got Comcast because uh, we're on twice on Wednesday night. We come on at, at uh, 8.30 to 10. That's an hour and a half. And then we from 10 to 11.30. So you get there in time to watch some. All right. Watch us. And we're also on the Internet. 24 hours a day. What is this? Is that an email? Okay, our... It's not a Spanish one. It's what? It's not a Spanish one. Okay. Oh, I was looking for that. This is our only email tonight. Let me go ahead and read it. Hi, all. I think I have gotten myself dropped off the list again. Sorry. I've been preoccupied. The move I was supposed to have done in August is just now happening. Jim, you had said if we wanted a copy of Thomas Watson's book, All for Good, to ask you for one. I don't know if you ordered them or not. I'm really behind on the DVDs, but if you did, I would like a copy, please. Um, I'm right in the middle of moving, so this will be short. I hope that everyone is doing well or as well as you can. It's exciting and frightening 
how quickly everything is spiraling to an end. All the things we are supposed to look for are happening, and we are being called to separate ourselves more urgently and frequently. I feel the pull to get away from the people I know and to even find another job. Not that I know that many people, but the ones I do know will listen to every silly nilly thing they come across or every Jehovah's Witness that comes knocking. People don't care that Jesus wasn't born in December. No amount of proof or scripture changes anything with these people. I'm so glad I'm finally getting away from this community. Okay, that's enough running today. I have things to move. <laughs> in Agape, Patty Night in Oklahoma City. All right, back to our announcements. Uh, watch the TV, watch the Internet. Graceandtruth.net. And uh, we support our needy people. We got a lot of needy folks. And uh, I mean really needy. If, if everybody knew how many people were out there that don't have money to eat, that don't have food on the table, you really, really just don't know. And we got some believers like that, and we support them. We send, send them money each month. If you want to help the needy believers in this truth, send your check, make it to Grace and Truth, and put needy on the bottom of it. Uh, we, uh, if you'd like, to help our missionaries. We've got our two missionaries, Scott and D. Worry, and they're continuing their mission work here in Hendersonville at Grace and Truth Building here. And they meet on Tuesday nights, and Scott preaches in Spanish the message we preach here predestination, God doesn't love everybody, Christmas is pagan, death to self, daily cross, self-denial, and so forth. If you want to help our missionaries, and they need your help, because we're trying to go forward and do things. It's going to take advertising. It's going to take equipment along the way. And if you want to help Scott and Dee, make your check to Grace and Truth and put mission on the bottom of it and we'll and we'll put it in their hands uh we've got our chili cookout coming up this coming saturday all day long on october the 14th and we'll be down here at rockland recreation center here in hendersonville just about a mile and a half from where we are right now and if you come into town you don't know how to get to it the police station is right across the street. Go over there and they'll say, that road right there, you go down it and they'll point to it. And, uh, and we'll have a good time. People say, what time do you start whenever you get there? Eric will be out there cooking uh, hot dogs and whatever have you at 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. So whenever you want to show up, we'll eat around noon and uh, everybody come and enjoy the fellowship, and we'll have a wonderful time. We're glad to have Anthony here from Birmingham, isn't it? Andrew. Huh? Andrew. What did I say? Andrew. Did I say Anthony? Yeah. Andrew. Okay. Andrew is from, is it Birmingham? From Birmingham, England, and he's come over for a few days to be with us during this Chili Cookout Fellowship. We're really glad you're here, Andrew. All right. Well, let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer. And uh, Michael, pray for us, would you please? Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening and for bringing us all here safely, and especially for the safe passage of Andrew. And we know just as you're working in his life, uh, where he, he lives on the other side of the world, Lord, that uh, you placed each of us in a, in a special place that uh, you would use us uh, to further your kingdom. Uh, we thank you for, for the strength to do those things you called us to. We thank you for
for your word and his ministry and you haven't left us to our to ourselves but uh, you called us into the into the fall Lord and we can only uh, use what we learn here what you teach us to uh, go out in the world and, and spread spread your word when you give us opportunities and the words to say until the last sheep is born into the fall Lord we thank you for what your son has done with us and for, for the many blessings you shed our way strengthen us to, to continue on doing what you you will for us all for our good and for your glory and we give you praise in Christ's name Amen. One of my favorite Gwens. <laughs> In fact, I don't know many Gwens, so I guess you'd have to be one of my favorites. Huh? <laughs> really? Scott was teaching here last night, and I don't understand Spanish, so I was at home teaching at my kitchen table for about three hours, the neighbors across the street. And I went through whew, unbelievable amount of information on Babylon being the mother of idolatry and, and uh, her destruction. We went through Isaiah 13, 14, uh, Isaiah 44 and 45, Jeremiah 50 and 51, uh, Daniel, the fifth chapter, the eighth chapter of Revelation, and the 18th chapter of Revelation. And that was like two full messages. And I wore them out. <laughs> but they were paying attention. They asked me if they could come over and if I could teach them. I didn't call them over there. I didn't get somebody cornered. It's what they wanted. 